doing something here, uh, but I saw. Uh, why should uh, John Caroni uh, sue uh, Capitalist DeFi? Are you asking us why do we think? Oh, I don't yes. know. I, 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 I mean, I can't. Uh, who said that? I can't. It was a Fonzie. It was a Fonzie tweet. It was a joke. I don't know. A joke. I mean, it's, I don't it's, know it's, what's in the law. What, what do you have? This is a good time to chill out. Yeah, yeah. When I saw that, I was like, "What? What's going on here?" I only have one. <laughs> so who said that? Um, Get out of here, Venom! I'm but I do, do want to. I do want to take this time though, um, and I want to talk about Hash Panda because I, unlike the uh, this blockbuster token, Hash Panda has no devs, no nothing. It's a completely decentralized coin. You know, I highly support it, and it's the most safest meme coin sure. out there. Okay, we're, we were trying to not shell things on the back of people getting wrecked. <laughs> True. <laughs> but I, I do, I'm just I do saying, so my, I do this, is, this, is, this is a good time because I'm, I'm, just, I'm personally getting tired of these uh, centralized projects that are not truly decentralized, that has the ability to wreck people, you know, to sell profits yeah. and stuff. So, you know, I'm just tired of it. So... And it's not fair, and it's, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just crazy, and, you know, and the people are not winning, you know, and DeFi is not winning. It's just these projects, these these owners of these projects, they're, they're the ones that are winning. These, these projects winning. shouldn't be called DeFi to begin with. DeFi stands for Decentralized Finance. You cannot be decentralized if you have a fucking CEO, well, period. Exactly. Well, well, well. Exactly. Listen, uh, just to counteract that is, Part of finance, right, is things like venture capital. So that's not necessarily true, right? They're trying to decentralize that away from capital markets that require uh, you to be an accredited if, investor. If they release that's a contract of, that cannot that be is, changed, yes, no, I would that agree. Is part of the, but if they can change the contract, it's not decentralized. If they can go in and change the contract, it's not decentralized. If they release a contract, if they release a contract and build on top of but, it, such as Ethereum has, but, but, Rironi, that would be CZ decentralized. Is exempt. CZ is the only one that has proven to be exempt. He has earned the right. CZ doesn't claim yeah. to be decentralized either. He admits right, right. His, his platform is fully centralized. He calls it CenFi. But he raised finance. it in a DeFi man. Yeah. They yeah. raised the funds for Binance through DeFi. But at least they're the honest the with what they tokens. class themselves as. They are CFI. And the, B and the BSC people don't even get any dividends from the massive success. Right? So it's really no different. Binance built itself off of a token fundraising. It is DeFi. What's being decentralized is the capital fundraising process that is in the general finance world heavily regulated by capital markets and the government, right? You true, mean true. you can't go out and participate yeah. in a fundraising for the next Uber, but in theory you can in DeFi, but in practice that doesn't fucking work 99.9% of the time. Let's, let's try not to get too deep down in the rabbit hole today. Uh, all right, guys. Sean's got his hand up. Has yeah, yeah, to the moon. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know if it's Sean or Roy's on. One of you guys was first. Just go. Whoever was first. Uh, I'll let Roy's on go, go first. No, no, he no, go, Sean. Go, Sean. Oh go. no, I was. I just was taking note of the people in the room. Um, I'm wondering if he's still in here. I'm looking. I don't see him. I know Ninja post made a post that he he had like like uh like six grand. I think it was. I was just wondering if he had bought in and and got wrecked too. Yeah, he's down there. Oh, he's down there. I don't know if he'll come up. You know, we haven't talked to him in a while. He might come up. I he's seen a Canadian. Him a while, but, but shout out, shout out to G Rod. Shout out to Dart in the room. Shout out to the OGs. You know, three six five. We still here. Still giving the facts. You know, we're around the clock all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't bought BBF though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Aroni, what's up? Yeah, you too. But um. What do y'all think about that project? Like, what's what's going on with that one million? I've been hearing y'all you guys talking about that and stuff like that. What? He's a bad actor because he was able to sell. So, what? He can't sell. So that means you can't sell profits if you make money. I don't get that. To me, he was the smartest one out of the bunch. He was the well. He I think he got lucky on the timing of his sell. That his was like the first one to go through. Yeah, it's been, it's just luck. I think the fact he attempted, the fact sell. he attempted, though, he but wouldn't I think click everyone, that sell I mean, button. I'm assuming everyone that had, like, 
hundreds of thousands of dollars in their wallet were attempting sales. Like I, oh hell yeah! I think I his was just a first one. Went, I got screenshots: thirty, fifty, eighty. Now it went up to one hundred and seventy-three thousand. Well, was there a string of failed transactions? Because you would see that if people were trying to sell and couldn't, you'd see a lot of failed transactions possible. It, it kept telling me it couldn't find the best. Yeah, not if it doesn't actually go and, through at all. Yeah, you it, might only see that on the wallet me, end, not the contract. That's right. And it kept telling me not enough BNB, but I had like seventy-seven dollars in BNB. And then when I finally went to sell half, that half went through. Has anybody gotten figures on what the gas cost is when you do transact with it? Have it, you been able to confirm really, like really high low. gas fees? 60, 60 cents on the transaction fee. Interesting. You know, yeah. Surprising. Surprising. I saw, some, I saw well, someone they... swap out um, Blockbuster for Safebull and it was $6.80. So I have one question. Uh, sorry, V3. Uh, on the Safebull swap, it was up 600%, right? So basically, if I had made six hundred percent, you're telling me, Sky, I couldn't sell. No. Wow. I mean, I was on there, so I could tell you guys exactly what happened because because I, I was able to deal with all of it. I'm just wondering, like, I know BSC Let has test tell nets. Us. Let Did they? Tell us. They could have easily ran this on a test net and to make sure their protocols launch correctly. They could have seen how that their own wallet dumped on them. If they ran it through a test net with some fauceted coins, well, they were yes, they, they were making um, production changes like up until the last like couple minutes. So, so that's already how you know like this shit was fucked. But, uh, I'm not a I'm not a major coder, but I know a basic with testing contracts for crypto Brody, is testing the oh, freaking sentence, man. Yeah, I didn't hear him. I'm sorry. Oh. I muted myself. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Um, so yeah, so I kind of went through all of that shit. It sucks. I had to jump out. I had like a two hour long meeting, but um, like during all of it. But basically, here's what happened. So I bought in a pre sale um, with about one BNB just to kind of fuck around with it. That got me about like a million tokens or so. And as soon as this shit launched, right, my wallet uh, for, for Blockbuster. That shit went up to over, a, I think it was damn near like a hundred grand, right? And I was on the space uh, when it was happening. So, you, so I was telling you guys, giving you live updates um, about what was happening when I was trying to sell. So what was happening is um, I was trying to sell in basically every variance, right? Like a uh, random, like smaller amounts, bigger amounts, various slippages up to like a hundred percent slippage. And it wouldn't let me sell because the error message I was getting was that um, the gas fees were not able to be calculated. And then it would tell, and then it started telling me that I didn't have enough BNB for the gas fee, but I had like twenty bucks sitting in BNB. So that wasn't it. Now they then started to allow selling, right? And when they started to allow selling, the very first sale that we saw was that one point five million. Right, and that 1.5 million, from my understanding, it like uh, is that the guy that they said took that 1.5 million, but it was just a uh, check the pin, please. Uh, bystander. Anyway, with all that shit being said, they finally enabled selling, and I was able to, um, after like hell of tries, I was able to get out um, about a grand from my initial. Uh, one BMB purchase, um, and then I went back in with about like sixty bucks or something just to kind of you know, ride it out. Well, that was very lucky. Uh, I I know, bro, that was up. a that was a long story to do like just itself. Yeah, I'm not fucking with it. I'm sorry. I'm out. Uh, yeah, no, we, I got, we got. I got very lucky. We got the number one. All shitcoin fighter, Bitcoin Maxi of the planet on stage right now. The Ponzi scheme. Let's go. It's a I mean, what do you what do you think brings me back to this shithole? But a good old fucking scam. I mean, once a scammer, always a scammer. Don Bailey can kiss my ass. Anybody who good good job, guys. You made Don Bailey a millionaire. Anybody who believes his horseshit, I got a fucking bridge to sell you in Arizona. 
just for that. Not that Go to Jeremiah. So let me let me let me ask let me ask let me ask, a, let me ask a real question. Let me ask a real question. So I, I keep hearing that everybody's saying, "Oh, nobody was able to sell," and all of a sudden, this magical fucking quote unquote random guy comes along and sells 1.5 million dollars worth of the fucking shit coin. Seems like no, nobody else was able contract. to sell except it this was, one guy. It was their contract. And and he didn't pay 16% to do it like everybody it's else had to do contract. it. Contract. It's a function of their contract. Yeah, it's working like working at work working as intended, Sky. Working as intended. I know, but I'm just telling you, it's not a random guy. It's literally their contract. Yeah, it's Don Bailey. It's Don Bailey. It's him. Yo, this motherfucker is really still sitting there and trying to act like he's all innocent and shit. And people still believe it. Like, that's the craziest fucking part to me. Yo, Brent. I know, dude. It makes me so bullish, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass gonna come up with a scam. You, you guys are way too fucking easy. You, you're making millionaires no. out here, like every single day for no reason. Like, I want to be a fucking millionaire too. Use, motherfucker. I don't know what you talk about. Use, man. There ain't no use here. Okay, none of us invested into that shit. All right, fair, fair enough, Mickey. Bro, there was a Mickey. There was a guy who said he threw a thousand dollars into it a second ago. No, probably yeah, just some guy. Guy. no he put a you boost. you did it, Mickey. I know, I, Mickey. I no, know you did it because you're smart bought, enough to know it's a fucking scam. No, 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 no. You misheard him. He bought a B and B in the pre-sale, sold it for a thousand bucks, and he put sixty bucks back in. Uh, so I actually took Don Bailey's money for the record. Thank you very much. That's good. I put four hundred and pulled. Let's the go. Oh, what they do, dude? You took you took a thousand out of his you took a, a thousand out of his one point five milli. Like the dude's oh, yeah. gonna literally go and buy a fucking house right next to the Coronies. Yo, and just and just so you know, I was calling this shit a fucking scam like before it even launched. I already knew what was gonna happen. Yo, bro, yeah, no shit, dude. Everybody with half a brain was. It's just it's just like who the. I didn't know he was gonna do it so quickly, you know. Like I thought he was gonna play his boy Coronies fucking uh fucking game plan. Like he was just gonna drag it out as long as he could like no this is just a good old-fashioned fucking just pull the rug out from everybody except now he's playing like the victim and being like oh it's something that went wrong with the contract guys i'm sorry uh, you're never gonna yeah. you're never gonna see that money ever again bro to be, to be good fair, games lasted to be, longer there's the brain fair, i missed to be fair brain i actually think it's fiber that pulled the rug over everyone's eyes i think don bailey's an idiot he also got it pulled over his eyes and he, oh, he Sky, he paid them to do it. If if Sky, if I they know, did it, he paid them to do it. Everything they control everything. Those you think he didn't make any money? Contracts. You think you no shit he controlled it? You think he didn't I'm pay not them? I'm saying he didn't make any money. I'm, what I'm saying is that these idiots are like employing this guy who's fucking a garbage dumpster. Wait, 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 wait! Holy shit! I forgot. Um, First, I want to welcome all the Safe Moon Maxis that are finally waking up for the first time. Um, I hope you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, I hope you guys see what's happening um, in the space. I hope you see it's all a scam. Don and Bailey's our friend, dude. Problem. He says big words and he makes me feel smart, so therefore he's my friend. Hey, hey, he wears yeah. nice suits, well, so he has to be taken it's seriously not... in business. He says big yeah. words, dude. He says big fancy words that I don't know what they mean. He must know what he's talking about. Yo, also, Wait. did you guys see Amy's post about how Gandalf came up super hard in this shit? Guaranteed. Yeah, Gandalf made big thing. money, too. Facts, dude. He straight up fucking rugged his own community, dude. Yo, guys, look. Guys and gal. Um, if one thing this does teach us, that persuasive words do work the way people, the way we talk to each other or to others, it does make an impact. So even though we're telling someone the truth, because I read somewhere where it says the truth without compassion is cruelty. My wife tells me the true. right shit to do I all agree the with time. That. Guess who's DMing me? Do um, oh, no. I had a I had a quiz qu question. Wait, wait. I'm looking at the sales right, and that yeah. 1.5 million dollar sale is saying that he only got at 0 0.03, so like at three cents. But I saw a bunch of buys of like 15 cents, 14 cents, 12 cents. I didn't see, so is that like recalculating the price of the coin as it dropped it? No, dude, it's more it's more retail it's more retail investors and safe mean, motors fomoing into it over no, and over. No, and no, the no, fucking no, no, thing no, got big enough where they pulled the rug. Question, brain. Brain, hold on. What am I missing? Did, are you saying that in the transaction right now, the price is showing you a lower price? 
Yeah, so when I look at yeah. the text screen, it's saying 1.5 million. It's saying he got 5,027 BNB, but the price is saying 0 0.03, so three cents. In a, are you looking at an actual BSC scan transaction? Uh, well, I'm looking at it on deck screener, and I, I'll click the transaction. But the <laughs> transaction won't tell you the price that he, that the token was bought or sold at. Only the, you know, the, the fucking other shit tells you. I don't know what the fuck you call this. You know the buys and sells, how you can see the buys and sells on, on deck screener on the bottom? Yeah. The transaction? Yeah, so the transaction has, before you click it, where you see where it says sell, USD, he received 1.6. Uh, tokens, he sold 41 million. And it was 5,000 BNB. But the yeah, price. So maybe, maybe the price is a little off on deck screener. That's, a little, that's way off. That's like fucking. It might be showing. Is that, the cur is that the current price? Is that what it's showing nah, you? Nah, cur current price right now is two zeros and a two. On here, it's okay. showing me one zero and a three. Interesting. Uh, yeah, you know, the, other thing, the other thing I also realized too was everyone was talking about how Don Bailey pulled a bunch of LP well before the launch and he stored that shit in an exchange, right? Yeah, he put well, he eighty thousand dollars straight to an exchange right. and said well, it was now, for marketing. He admitted right. that he now. still has one point two million put on the side. Exactly, exactly. Now here's the thing. He's talking about quote unquote fixing what happened. I'm gonna call it right now. He's gonna take that one point some million and he's gonna inject it back to the LP and move on like ain't nothing. He already else. said that. Oh, yeah, God. he said that. He's gonna inject it yeah. and he's gonna have the coin. Yeah, that's the thing. I did that's because he got I caught. I said this before, he got caught. Like he wasn't expecting people to literally be like, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck's going on? Because he didn't expect that shit to cascade the way it did. He probably expected a profit or whoever it was that was doing that, and then it was gonna continue bumping. But no. No, so now it's like, oh, I got to pay people back. The three he's not going to put the money. Like he's not going to put the money back, bro. He's not going to put the money back. What's going to happen? All right, he doesn't put the money. He doesn't put the I'm telling you what he has said. I'm not making speculation. I'm telling you what Dom Bailey has said, Brain. Yeah, let, let me let me just let me let me ask. Let me pose a question to you guys right now. He doesn't put the money back. What happens? What are you going to do? You guys are going to go kick down his door and fucking break his windows? You don't want to like, man. I need You're energy. talking to us as if like we're all investing. We're saying us, Mickey, Mickey, I know. Mickey, I know you're not in it. I'm just, I, I, I know, I'm not talking to you, I'm not talking like you, man. The majority of the people here are, so you're talking to them as if, you know, like you're trying to talk to us like, just chill. Stop being an asshole. Okay, so I, 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 I am, I am. What, the, okay, so let me, let me rephrase my question. If, if they don't put the, if Don Bailey doesn't put the money back, what are the investors going to do? Are they going to go kick down his fucking doors and fucking like break his windows? No, they're not going to do shit. They're going to fucking cry about it. I agree with you though, but they won't. And you know what? Don Bailey thought he was fucking John Caroni, bro. And he just thought he was going to be able to ride out into the sunset with his brand new Audi and... Bro, V3, he, he, he is. There. He is. Nothing's right. going to happen. And I think he thought he was like, he wasn't going to get the kind of back. the blue suit? 1.5 million to become like the public enemy number one, dude. Easy peasy. You guys want to give me 1.5 million, make me public enemy number one? Go for it. I'll send you guys my address. No, you can start you're fucking not a money. smooth enough talker. You already are. Yeah. You're too much of an nice asshole, to us, man. You I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. I'll sell you. I'll, I'm just saying. Anybody will sell you guys out for 1.5 million. 1.5 million. 1.5 million. I'll sell you guys all out. Brain, go put on a suit, right? a smiley face picture, okay? Use that as your PFP, then we'll talk. And you need Get to a quieter mic that isn't screeching in our ears. Bah. No, that's like my trademark at this point, Sky. I, I guys, I guys, the, guys, I guys, guys the Moon Matt has his hand up. No, I just think this is funny. So Jeff DMs me five minutes ago and he goes... Uh, well, you messed up. Should have had the facts. See you in court. I know you're passionate, so if you want to issue an apology, that will suffice one last time. He's but a public no figure. He can't sue you. But no more redos. He, he can't said. sue you, you man. Say that shit. You. you could use that yeah. against him in court, motherfucker. He doesn't even know my name. <laughs> like, well, well, I would exactly. Just tell, exactly. I would just tell him that he's a public figure and he can't sue you, so have fun. 
Don't just, just do Bobby Axelrod. Good ride. luck. Don't just do Bobby Axelrod. Nah, who'd you scam this time? Why are you getting sued? Who'd you scam no, this time? D- the the guy in charge of fucking launching this shit project, like the fiber that did the actual fucking contracts and shit, he keeps telling everyone he's gonna sue them when they call him out on his bullshit, like, like it's like defamation <laughs> or something. Like, no, you're a public figure, you did bad, you can get called out, you piece of shit. Like, get out of here. Well, actually, speaking of Jeff, did you guys see my interaction with Miles from Reflex? No. Yo, fucking Miles. Miles, oh, he did? Yeah, he put up a post and he was like, oh, like, I feel bad for whatever's happened. Like, this is fucking up the space. And I was like, well, that is your boy, right? Like, that wrote the contract. So are you still going to keep working with your boy? I'm like, what's up? Um, And he kind of responded and was like, well, we don't know all the facts. But, like, I'll be investigating this myself. Uh, And I'm like, okay, cool, bro. Like, the facts are going to come out pretty soon. So, like, let's see if you still work with him. That's going to be uh, the telling point. He was well, even the already. already said they're dropping him. Yeah, he was here already, Miles, and said oh, that he they did? were looking. Yeah. Well, Reflex, Reflex hasn't officially said they're dropping him. Nobility has. No, I said, yeah, yeah Nobility I, I said that. Say, yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't think Reflex has, but. All right, Roy Zone, you got your hand up. Go ahead, man. Can, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yo, Brain, I miss you. I was over time at fucking McDonald's, bud. Is that Roy, Roy the boy, dude? It's been a while. Yeah, I miss you, bro. How's, how's the McDonald's OT, man? Bitcoin's down, bro. What's up? It's pretty good, man. That's why I'm working at Wendy's now, too. You're working at... Damn. That's what's up, bro. I miss you, brother. Wait, you working at Wendy's, yo? You got to hook me up with the fucking discount, my man. Come on. Of course, bro. They bro, you need, a, you need a discount. If you, got, if you need a discount to buy the fucking dollar menu at Wendy's, like... You got bigger problems than buying shit coins, Wait. my friend. I gave you safe moon for fries. Quit larping, brain. Come on. I'll give you some hash panda for some nuggies. I only I only accept blockbusters. <laughs> the larp. Man, I can't even sell this shit. But yo, yeah, man, Bitcoin is the wave, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I came to my head, like, I just, I just, a lightning just struck me in my brain, bro. No, bro. Blockbusters is the way. Nah. Who wants to buy my blockbusters? Nah, that shit got out of business already. Dude, what are you talking about? Why are they out of business? It was the most successful business of all time. They made $1.5 million in five minutes. No, Netflix blew blockbuster out the way. Oh, I'm talking about the stupid shit coin, not the, not the fucking, not the shit stock. Nah. Well, the shit stock's LARP. pretty cool, too. LARP. You're a LARP. Yo, has anyone checked up on Chris Harris's wallet? Is he doing he a space in like pre-sales. half an hour? Yeah. He bought in pre-sales, so he's fine. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's doing a he's doing a space in like half an hour. So you can go listen to him cry. Nah, if he made profit, he's probably gonna act like it's all good. Yeah, he's gonna act like everything's fine because he bought it in the pre-sale. These people don't think about the people that got wrecked at fucking ten cents, twelve cents, right. whatever. Exactly. They, don't, they don't care about those people. Wait, how much was the pre-sale price? Like three zeros and a three, and it went up to twelve cents because they they seeded the liquidity with only like a hundred k. Oh no wonder! No wonder Don Bailey pulled the fucking rug. Hell yeah, that thing went up like literally fucking a hundred thousand per- percent. Yeah, bro. And then now they're like, oh, we're gonna give you your money back. Like, great, that's fine. Bullshit. You're competent. Even if he does, though, the sky. That's not even. No, even if he that's does, it's already bad. it's already tarnished. He it's not. Sell. It's as soon as he does that, it's not incompetent. Yeah, I'm it's not. In, it's not what incompetent. Brain, brain. What you have to understand is that. Oh no, it's not incompetent. I agree. I'm sure it's not, but I'm. I'm it's telling you. Fucking malice. If they're going to say it's not malicious, it's incompetent. So it's one or the other. It's not. There's nothing good about it either way. You know. All right. Look, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Either I'm way. gonna tell you the script. I'm gonna tell you the script, word, word for word, how this exact scenario is gonna play out for like the next month or two, okay? And you can hit me up again like in a month or two, and you can tell me whether I was right or wrong. This is what's gonna happen. Don Bailey is gonna go to every single fucking space known to mankind that's talking about his little shit coin, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, there was a problem with it, and it didn't work out, and it's a failed project." Blah blah blah. Uh, send us all a DM with a picture. He's already doing this, by the way. Send us all DMs with pictures of, like, how much you bought, and we're going to refund you. We're going to fix it, right? And you're never going to hear from him ever again. And when people start asking him what's going on, 
what, yeah, when people start asking him what's going on with the what's going on with the money, he's gonna tell us, oh, we're working on it in the background. You know, we're super busy. That's what we're working on. And yeah, Malta, you beat me to it. Then the V2 thing is gonna happen in like a couple more months. They're gonna say we're launching Blockbusters V2, and this time it's gonna be different. Oh, for sure. I'm and I'm not saying. I'm just saying that if it's not malice, like they're trying to say it's not, it's incompetence, and it's just as bad. It's fucking malice. He's a scammer. Once a scammer, always a scammer. V2, the rug continues. That's why I'm V3, the end result. Guys, he's young. The project is only four hours old. Yeah, let's get Jeff uh, Amazon. Yeah, that's true. It's only Amazon four hours. Guys, yeah, just to break the ice hours. a little bit, I got a funny-ass tweet that I just got in the last three seconds. You ready, guys? Major Tom asked me, hey, so Hash Panda doesn't have a CEO? Fuck. They're, yo, it they're does. learning. They're learning. I Man, swear, it does. the last it's 10 Mickey. seconds, he just messaged me exactly that question. Yo, so how Mickey, you're, really though, you're so the so chief executive good? officer. Yo, no, anyone who knows like, not... the CEO. Yeah, how good does Hash Panda look right now, though? Like, for real, for real. Like, amazing. How amazing. Good does that shit look? No, literally, look at the chart. Literally. Do a chart comparison. Man, these motherfuckers need to learn. It's fucking it's crazy, bro. Fucking... It's the Bitcoin of the BSC. He gave me the thumbs up. He gave me the thumbs up. That me. Oh, keep, keep an eye on the charts, guys. I think Major Tom's about to do it. There it pull is. the plug. Let's go. We pull get... the plug. <laughs> a new whale. He already yeah, bought, also... though. I thought... Yeah, he already bought the other night. No, 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 no. I think he's thinking of, you know, his safe moon bag. He yeah. was talking about it the other he's night. Buy, buy. Yeah, he was buy, talking buy, about buy. it. He was like, I don't know. I'm thinking of selling my safe moon bag. Yeah, all, yeah, I swear to God, dude. Like, I'm looking at everyone in this space right now. Like, I see a lot of burners. And uh, let me tell y'all something. Go look at Hash Panda and compare it with Safe Moon, Grove, fucking Ghostbusters, whatever, dude. Y'all see. Yo, yeah, some of these people have just lost their ass. So, uh, the last thing they want to know right now. Yeah, yeah we don't need to I, be I keep saying them. that. I don't know why people keep chilling it. No, like, no. You can you can definitely go look at the math, but that's all I would say. I agree. I agree. My bad. I fucked up there. I just nah, wanted to yeah, let them move up a little saying, bit. Like, that was my saying, fault. Just do a comparison. You know what I mean, my Guys, Matt wants to come up. Is anyone not talking right now? Matt, who? I take full blame for that. Oh, I apologize, Sean. I apologize. Ooh, Matt with the fucking BFP. Oh, the, he left now. The dickhead, man. Never mind. Don't he text, was there. Drop somebody. Don't worry. I would actually like to hear from some of the other people that if, if they did get wrecked, I would like to hear their their um, take on it, like far as their perspective. I think that's you can, the thing. Yeah, I don't Scott, you can break people up. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna go wish Don a successful launch. I'm gonna tell him good job, dude. Yeah, go ahead, bring. Yo, is he is he in a space? Is, is he in a space? Yo, wait yeah, a minute. Yeah, I think so. so uh, I still want Brian, um, Brian to look at that oh, shit too. Uh, he left. And now the mark. Oh! He has to be removed, so I removed him midway through. Oh. <laughs> Turn that shit off. Wait, so is Mark helping Don Bailey now? That's what it sounds like. Didn't he say he was waiting on a call from uh, Don? Guys, yeah. Fiber is straight up lying. He says. Oh, can you guys hear there... me? Yeah, but I'm talking. Oh, hold on. It's on my screen. It says request, and I'm a listener, so I didn't even know I was up fucking speaking, and I'm not even fucking with you. I'm going to screenshot it's all right, it now. My man. It's all right. I'm going to leave and come back. My bad, guys. Go ahead, Sky. Okay. Uh, Fiber put out a statement and said, there was no bot mitigation in the contract, to be clear. The contract always prioritizes reward distribution. The sell downs by a bot was an attempt to rug the contract caught footing the bill for the distributor this preserved the value for the holders like that was not a bot it was a regular person trying to sell and then your fucking contract rugged the like the way they twist this shit is so bullshit I fucking hate these people alright I'm gonna go listen to the maxis for a little bit you can take me out so, so either way okay. one, one, both sides are, are settling two different stories it sounds like and then somebody's lying in the mix of the shit yeah, they're like basically like our reward distribution thing saved the day. 
they're not they're not talking about the fact that they didn't seed the LP with enough money. They had fucking cells turned off. They let the ship pump to the fucking moon. And then when they finally turned cells on, somebody, a regular ass person, just tried to sell their bag and then their contract fucking front ran that person. So it's not okay, yeah, you're lucky, I guess, that you you preserved value for the holders. But unless they put that fucking all that money back in the LP, they didn't preserve shit. And it's not it wasn't a competence thing that made that happen. They got fucking lucky that that happened because every other part of their launch was completely incompetent. But Sky, regardless of any of that, right, there are still going to be investors that are that got wrecked because putting it back in the LP does does nothing for those investors. Almost unless they everybody have bought back in. Almost. I would say everybody over probably a penny is fucking completely wrecked. I do not see that this thing breaks going my over heart. A penny. That breaks my heart because I'm going to try to do the math on how many just regular purchases, not the bot, but regular purchases were made at those prices. And I guarantee you that those investors have it's, never It would be almost, it would be almost that whole $1.5 million. I can oh, you no, I can, I can already give you like down to the minute. minute. So there was actually anything past uh, 205 or I'll say at the most two, uh, 208 uh, Eastern Standard Time. So eight, anywhere between eight, five to eight minutes of launch was when uh, anybody that bought after that, you were fucked. It's so sad. Front running mean. When you say front running, what does that mean? Like the guy's cell was going through, but because they have that in their contract that basically front runs every cell, it caught the cell before that guy caught the cell, and so it got all the money. But and that, can I... Can I explain that just in, in in a sense that I know about it, and they did this uh, recently, when they were doing the Yuga Labs um, metaverse thing, they actually had uh, bots front running all the purchases, and what they do is they actually pay more for gas. So the more they pay for gas, the more they're willing to pay for gas, the 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 validators are going to take those transactions first, as opposed to let's say V3, who's just trying to do it on either regular gas or even maybe he clicked high gas. But they're doing it because of their contract. They're doing it at a much higher, higher price, and the validators automatically take that. So that that's also a way of how they're front running these uh it, these transactions. It beats the sales to the punch, basically. Any sale, it beats. So yeah. is it a whale protection or what? No, 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 no. no. They, anybody could do Lawrence. that. They did that on Ethereum when they were selling these uh, metaverses. They law they, they literally burned like over fucking ten million dollars of Ethereum just to front run some of these uh bots just to purchase like one land it was crazy you got to just google it up yeah and this is essentially what they were trying to do with this or i guess their contract is trying to do with this which is shady as shit to me it shows malicious intent i don't care if it's part of the contract or not i don't see a reason for it if you have a legitimate project why do you need that yeah it's called dead on arrival Yep. And Vix, Vix Don Bay didn't even fucking know that was happening. You see the tweet, tweet out. He said, "This is the address that that broke the token." He didn't even fucking know uh, who just, that. Who's just talking to me? I don't know this person. Oh. We need to find out who that wallet is and get him in here. Vix, who is this? Yeah, person? yeah, he he commented on on Fonzie's post. Who the wallet? We got a lot of people yeah, down the there. Please make sure you group. like and retweet the pin uh, post above. So we can let everybody know what happened. Thank you. Yeah, this shit's fucked up, man. Texas, I'm just giving you a hard time, man. You actually brought me down, and my son walks in the room and goes, "Hey, take me to take me to football practice." I'm like, "All right." So I wasn't gonna talk anyways. I was in the car, and then I get back. I read all that shit. I was about to answer, and then my daughter goes. Can you take me to my friend's house? I'm like, fuck. Yes, don't be mad, Bix. Yeah, Texas was so worried you were mad at yeah, him. Yeah, I know. I read that and I was like, oh, I'm going to milk this. And he yes. kept even throughout the conversation, like everyone would be talking and be like, Vix, Vix, get up here. Vix, I know, come I know. up here. <laughs> I heard. Yes. I, was, I was sitting here in my car cracking up. Forget about Vix. What about Walks, man? He's not coming up here. I've been trying to get Walks up here for a while now. Let's walks. Now, let's go. I'm, I'm sending him by. Come on, Walks. Come on, Walks. Hey, guys, Walks. One, of, 
one of the one of the members in the squishy discord just pointed out and i forgot about this fiber also owns a marketing agency so like what are the chances that 280k that they sent through the through uh fucking the exchange that they said was for marketing went straight to fiber Yo, oh my fucking god, dude. I just came from the other space. They're literally thanking Don Bailey and telling him what a great job he's done. What? I have lost faith in fucking humanity. Yo, somebody check on Tom. <laughs> no, guys, I mean, somebody they get the size of the room. We had 300 people when everyone thought it was really going to shit, and then they started coming out with excuses, and, and the numbers are going down. They're back to their maxi ways. Let them, let them keep losing money. They, they, they deserve how many, it. How much of that? How much of that is in them just trying to regain what they, what they lost, basically, right? Because if they say, "Hey, fuck you, Don Bailey, you're, you're an asshole," he takes off with the money, and then they're all fucked. A lot of that may be them just trying to save their ass at this point. No, 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 dude. I'm fucking telling you. I just came from there. They're literally thanking him and telling him what a great leader he is and that he's done a wonderful job. One guy, as he was speaking when I left, he said, he said, yeah, like right now, like I would literally double down. I would double down right now, but the bank account is drained. And they all laughed and clapped Oh together. my God. And yeah, that's what I just heard. So I'm gonna go. Well, you can't fix stupid, that's for sure. Bro, V3, what's, uh, what's for lunch, V3? Um, man, I'm about to make myself a fucking drink. I just got off of work, bro. You made a, you made an easy grand. I mean, what's for lunch? What's, you know? Buy your uh, beer. Nah, 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 guys. That shit's going straight to the bank account. That's my new move. Hey, uh, if, guys. If, you get, if someone can go down, we have the big panda king trying to come up. Yo, bro. Yeah, Yo. Ollie wants to come up and scream at us. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Yo, Pron. Kick Pron down. Yo. We got Cart in the building. <laughs> Ow. Bring Cart up. Shout out to Cart. We can't because there's too many no. people up here. Cart. No, I can go to... back down to being listener. I, I, uh. Yeah, uh, I can't really that, talk that, anyway. That's what? okay, Walks. Walks? Stay right there. <laughs> Been trying to walk. Walks? That's what I'm... Oh, we got an extra space now, so that's your walks. Oh, fuck. Walks. But why say fuck? Walks. What's up, Ali? Walks. You buy the sh what? Go ahead, Ali. You have the floor. You know what are you? What's, what's going on? That's what I've been trying to say, like, from, I know, soon as, you know, they need a place to, it's like, you know, I need a shoulder to lean on. Now fucking Don Bailey came on, whoever came on previously about two minutes ago, he's absolutely right. I've been learning, uh, listening for about half an hour. They're all going, oh, thank you. We love you. We was worried from Amsterdam, from Australia, for, from USA. Everybody's, oh, all right. You, you know, you, you would instead of being a millionaire you're gonna get your money back in pre-sale he's giving them everything and they're all happy so i don't see why can't we talk uh, one second so i don't see why the fuck we can't talk about our fucking coin that pisses me off no no, no. talk about it no one said you can ali don't listen to sky you can talk about it this is a hash oh, panda no. space first they're, they're all happy. They're happy. Don Bailey said, don't worry, you're going to get your money. If they're happy, why should we worry about other people? We tried our best. We did everything. We literally, if anybody wants to invest in Handa, uh, Hash Panda, they're welcome. We can't say, you know, like, oh, no, we're going to, because uh, Don Bailey did, did, did whatever happened, we're going to, like, cry all night. No, we're going to move on. They're happy. If they're happy, we're happy. That's it. It's sorted. And back. Yeah, Yo, Ali, Ali just heard exactly what I just heard. Ali, Hello, you Ali. The executive conversation was that we, Realist was saying, mentioning something, and then I remember I responded just saying that these people 
don't want to change. Like, it doesn't matter how we speak no, or I, how I, we carry ourselves. They're going to go back to the same site. The space oh, is recorded. Oh. The space is recorded. I'm going to play that show play when, when they, like, you know, when uh, Jeremy finishes. I know what time he... I've wrote the time down. Literally, they're all happy. Like, uh, you know, Stacy, everyone uh, from Utah, they're all happy, hunky-punky. They're dancing, you know, now. Everyone's happy. So, fucking, I want the title back on the Hash Panda, please. Let's go. All right, we'll change it. I'll change it right now. <laughs> Let's go, Ali. Yeah, I mean, I guess the space has died down a lot now. It was at like 300 and something people, and they were listening about this. So it was. And, and they were like, okay, yeah. we're done with reality. Let's go back to, to Maxi and it up. No, they started hearing their excuses from their leaders, and it's enough. You know what I mean? It's enough. Yeah, they they don't mind smoke being blown up their asses. They like that. For for two weeks, have we not been saying this was going to happen, too, though? Dude, that's what I'm saying. So I'm actually going to go back on all my tweets because I've been going back and forth with a bunch of people, including Darren, who were, like, sticking up for Don, uh, Don Billy before all this happened. And I just checked, and the motherfucker is still sitting there like, yeah, Don's doing an amazing job. Like, he's fucking they killing They believe him. that... One thousand dollars sale of BBTF right now. I'll keep you guys posted. They're saying he's the best. Cut off the market cap, do you know? Uh, uh, They're literally saying you are the best. What else do you want? Fuck you, though. If he's the best, leave them alone. What's up, Kirk? Yo, hey. Oh, hey. What's going on? Yeah, it looks like I missed a lot of drama today, so that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Just a little bit. Ash Panda number three on the useless app. Uh, some good news I'd like to share with everyone here who does have the All for One app installed, or for all you Hash Panda people, which are currently uh, what number on the three? three. Top three. Nice. So. Yeah, so some big news. Um, you guys are probably going to be the first to hear it. Uh, we got approved through Transact for Know Your Business. So we got API keys for fiat unwrapping. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's insane. Yep. So we already have the fiat unwrapping piece uh, built out. Um, and so now it's just uh, getting everything fully integrated and polished in the field on ramping flow. We still have Banksa um, as a secondary option. We're still going through their know your business process. Is this kind of a, a big pain in the ass right now? Cause we're in between businesses at the moment um, as we're breaking out between the, the useless DAO and the all for one business. And so it's, uh, it's definitely interesting, but yeah, great news from a business perspective. Uh, that means that we are green lit. Once we get feel on ramping um, going, then we're launching in the app stores, which is going to be awesome. Card, congrats! That's huge. Goodbye, coin. Yeah, it is. We've been we've been working on this for a month and a half now to try to get the whole process approved. So it's exciting. Heck yes! And then so once that's all polished up, then it's like submit to the app store and then it's all in their hands yep uh we also um last night got the contract for eclipse um, up on ethereum we're doing things a little bit differently for ethereum because useless the useless uh bridge um the harmony bridges are down right now um after their hack that they had on the eth bridge side and so um, until they get their bridges back up and running um we're gonna have eclipse on ethereum but instead of having useless as the token that's used um, to stack rank tokens against each other, um, we're going to be doing USDT um, temporarily until we get the bridge back up and running. And that USDT will be building liquidity out for useless on Ethereum when we launch on Ethereum. So we got that contract that's launch. Cool. Yeah, the, the, those contracts launched last night. Um, so that we can have Eclipse rankings on Harmony One, um, Ethereum, and Binance. And that means that if we need to bridge to other chains, we could launch an Eclipse on, like, say, Polygon. And um, 
we instead of uh, we don't have a bridge active yet, but we could launch Eclipse, collect Tether, essentially, um, or any stable coin, um, and then use that to build liquidity. So once we do get the bridge up and running, then we are, are good to go. And so uh, we also are going to have our decentralized exchange network contracts launched on harm on um, Ethereum as well and multiple other chains. So we're currently We've applied to about 10 grants for other different blockchains that we can support that are EVM compatible on our DEX screener and BitQuery and all those. So we've applied to many grants and hopefully one of them bites and um, they'll help uh, help fund future development of the app as well. So Let's good things go. happening. Is it me or is it Mark? Sure. That is exciting, man. Here's a Maybe. question, Mark. If you, this is not this is just a uh, personal. If if you were to launch a token and you had two hundred million dollars in a pre-sale, about how much do you think you would put in the LP? Um, two hundred million in pre-sale. Or, sorry, two million. Two million. <laughs> oh, two two million. My brain's broken uh, right now. I, I think at bare minimum, um, anytime you have a pre-sale, you should probably have. I'd say bare minimum forty percent in LP, preferably like sixty percent, if not eighty. Sweet, thanks. Damn, he's way off. Uh, not really. <laughs> Put it. I set I set him up because he doesn't actually know what happens, so he's. Not <laughs> oh no! <laughs> how yeah, much, how much could Tom Bailey have in LP? Yeah, like how much Tom Bailey? Like four percent? One hundred grand. Don Bailey put. Uh, well, what would that be? Like five percent? Wow! And he also. Oh, that's that's. Money that's and put it in exchange, right? Five <laughs> percent of his silly. two million raised into the LP. Yeah, it, the whole point of doing a pre-sale is to raise money for the LP. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, that's how I've always thought it was. But yeah, and it's really messy when you launch with not enough LP because there was at like a 0.3% LP and that and cells were turned off and that shit went to the moon. And then... Yeah, because what, yeah, what happens is... When you launch a token, you need like 40 to 50% LP because what happens is when people buy, you have to think of how it's interacting with the liquidity pool. It's um, people are taking BNB, putting it into the liquidity pool and taking out tokens. And so what that does is raise the price, obviously. But your token liquidity, if your token liquidity is like in a healthy range of like 10 or 15%, um, then it's okay. You'll 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 ha be able to sustain a bull run for a little bit, but once you go down below like four, three, two percent liquidity, um, things get a little hairy and extremely volatile. And you literally can have like someone with like two percent of tokens in circulation almost rug the whole price like down eighty percent. And so that's why you want to start your liquidity out of like forty or fifty percent. And then as people buy and a bull run happens um, during the token launch. Um, <laughs> what happens is your liquidity will drop from like 40% down to 20% or 15% or 10%. And that's still sustainable, but you have to start at like 40%. Um, you can probably get away with like 30, 20 is really pushing it. 10 is scary. 5% is, uh, it, insane. I would not recommend that for anyone. 0.3% no. is... Five percent. Yeah, it was 0.3%. I think a lot of the mis the quote unquote mistakes they made were completely intentional. Matt, we can't hear you in the blockchain. Matt, fix your phone. Yeah, that shit was wild. <laughs> Well, again, I don't really know what happened. I just jumped into the space. I heard that there was some drama or some things that happened. So I'm uh, I'm staying impartial. It sounds like yeah. they they were able to uh, retain, um, I guess, most of the money. So I think that's uh, kind of a, a moot point. But it definitely is not a good look. That's for well, sure. Well, I mean, but there's people 
who bought at 12 cents. They're saying they're going to pay them back, but that I don't understand what that does for like everybody along the way that is now like upside down. That's a lot of money. I mean, maybe they'll give everyone, they're giving people their tokens back, I guess, because they're holding 50% of the supply of tokens. But I don't know at what price they're giving everyone their tokens back so we'll have to see but they're still they still hold that 1.5 million dollars so we'll have to see what they do with that 1.5 million dollars hopefully they inject it back into the lp and don't buy it and pump the price well and that's the thing that i i try to warn people about with like the whole buybacks is buybacks are cool and all if you have a lot of liquidity um so if you have like an excess of 20 percent liquidity buybacks are fine um it's cool because it raises the price sure but when you do buybacks you drain token liquidity percent and so what you're doing is you're introducing volatility so um, massive buybacks or massive bull runs will absolutely drain token liquidity and create huge areas of volatility and that's just how it works with automated market models you know market maker models is that you you have to think about your liquid your token percent of liquidity that is equated to your volatility and if you have really low like below five percent token liquidity you're gonna have high volatility if you're below like one percent i mean a small buy or a small sell will in, will like adjust the the chart dramatically and so what becomes really scary is if you drain your token liquidity down, like get this massive bull run, well, it snaps back like a rubber band. Um, so as soon as one person sells, then panic ensues. But again, your, your cells have greater impact on the price and your volatility is super high. So like people just have to really understand and think through, piece it through when they launch tokens and they manage things centrally. $2,000 yeah, your token liquidity is super, super, super important. Um, and that's why if you see charts too, where the token has a massive sell-off, well, your token liquidity percent goes up and the price becomes more stable after um, the kind of asymptotes down to like a price floor. But then it's hard to budge the price back up because your liquidity is so high. And so you, you really have to understand the nuance of um, volatility because if you have like 80 percent liquidity that is probably not a good thing if um because it won't move the price when people buy or sell that much and it can give the appearance that the token is stagnant or stuck um so you and if that happens after a massive sell-off then it can give the impression that the token's like completely dead so so anyway i kind of soapbox for a bit on on liquidity but like Come on, people! It's not—it's not rocket science. You know, look at your percent of tokens in liquidity versus the tokens in circulation. That's your token liquidity percent. A healthy range is between ten and twenty percent. Heck yes. Hi, Sky. I was thinking, right? Like yes, 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 yes. actions and safe was charging like six dollars uh, in gas fees. You know, they're making a fucking killing. Not if it's gas. If it's gas, that's going to Binance. Yeah, gas doesn't get paid to save them. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Whatever. Why is gas so high on safe moon still? Because their contracts yeah. aren't very efficient, so it has to read through a bunch of lines of code before it can put the transaction through. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The less. The less. Okay. Car can maybe Car can explain it better than me. So you're saying a token that reflects in one in itself has a higher gas fee than a token that reflects in eight different tokens? Wow. Because well, it was just cheap to, to swap, like, you know, to sell, I don't know, safe moon, they charged me like $6 to swap some shit. Um, well, in my understanding is that if you have, like, inefficient loops, like, say you have blacklisted addresses, and then you're looping through all the blacklisted addresses and things like that, it's just uh, that becomes really inefficient um, because that code has to run somewhere and that processing time is expensive, especially on the blockchain where it's distributed because lots and lots of people have to run that in the, um, the virtualized machine environment. And so the more, the more uh, 
processing you have to do um, and looping through the code, the, the higher the gas is going to be. And I, I haven't looked at their contract in a while, so I can't tell you. But. Kark, are you hooking on the side of the road again? Yeah. Are you uh, working? Yeah. Uh, I'm in your corner. He's working that corner. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm walking to get some lunch. So late lunch day, it's been busy. Nice. Guys, six pack Habibi, are you able to open up a space? Uh, yeah. All right, I got you, six pack. I'll help you, co-host. All right, let me just grab. Oh, so we uh... had space, hey guys. It's been fun. We had a hell of a time, but I'll, I'll hop in your guys' space shortly. Thanks, guys. Grab <laughs> the space. Right. Thanks, Texas.